is I purchased a small ceramic heater. Here she is. Okay, $20 on Amazon. And this seemed like a really good idea. I have a larger heater, but I, I wanted something smaller. And it has a thermostat, because I don't want, you know, I'm, this has a thermostat too, my, my propane heater. I don't like to wake up at night and uh, turn the heat up or down. I like to just go to sleep and be happy. So this one, 500 watts. And I bought this one and I've tested it in less frigid temperatures than three degrees. It's going much colder tonight, down to minus, uh, probably minus two tonight. And uh, I ran this one for, I started testing it and it ran for three hours and that's where I am now. At the three hour mark, this guy was only able to raise, and I checked it a lot, I was hoping it would do better. This guy only raised the temperature up to 45 degrees in here. Now that's certainly a lot better than what's going on outside, but you're not getting anybody into lingerie at 45 degrees, no matter how much alcohol you spread around here. So I want more heat. Uh, this, 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 this heater is fine for warmer temperatures, maybe freezing, uh, if you're not in a hurry. One of the problems with it is it puts out low airflow. It does not blow a lot of air through it, which this one does. It moves a lot of air, which is important for warming the place up quick. So, um, the $20 heater has limited usefulness. Again, it's 500 watts. So I'm gonna try something a little heftier. This is a, uh, a it's called a disc furnace. Uh, you can find it on Amazon for about $60. And uh, these heaters have been around for a long time. Uh, this is, uh, you know, it's made out of metal. Comes from an era when they made things out of metal. Has a pretty powerful fan. And it has a, uh, a variable speed fan. There's a knob on the back, you can turn it. And it uh, has a thermostat built in. Um, and uh, this thing, I've had this running for 30 minutes, and it, uh, I had to turn it down. It's raising the temperature one degree a minute, and that's pretty good. That's really, you know, <laughs> uh, in 10 minutes, you know, I'm up from 45 to 55, you know, and I'm heading for 65. So this thing is uh, really cranking out the heat. This is up for the job in this cold. I think the prior heater was just overwhelmed. I just don't think it has the power at 500 watts. This, I think, is 1,500 watts, 1,500 watts. And uh, it's got the power. I think it's uh, 5,000 BTUs. Uh, the other one was about 1,700 BTUs. Um, one thing I noticed about these uh, heaters is brand new. They really smell when you start them up. Um, that goes away after about an hour or two. So unless you want to be part of the tumor research project, uh, I suggest you uh, let them heat up when they're new outdoors. That way they'll let stuff will gas off. I would say if you're driving and pulling over and want to get in your trailer in a reasonable amount of time, 1500 watts, 1000 watts uh, is a good place to start. Nothing beats experimenting like this. You want it to be warm in here when you get in. Uh, no matter how cold it is outside. So leave yourself some time. Um, I did not have a problem with a cold mattress last night when I slept in here with the propane heater. I don't expect to have one tonight. The mattress is not excessively cold um, and it provides insulation from the cold floor. So it is up to uh, 70 degrees in here. I had to turn the heater down. Uh, that little heater is functioning really well. It's putting out a lot of heat. I'm really happy to have dry heat. I'm not beating up on propane heaters. I mean, there's the Wave, which is very popular with RV owners. It's a, a catalytic heater that runs in, heats up very well in RVs. Uh, there's Mr. Heater, Mr. Buddy, Little Buddy, all the buddies. Um, I have a Little Buddy and I've used it. Um, but the big disadvantage that I didn't like was they put out a lot of moisture. And I'm talking, I read reports, secondhand reports, not from me, I've read them, where people have wet walls inside of uh, RVs. So I looked this up, and one pound of propane, which would last about three hours on my heating system, puts out 20 ounces of water. Things do get moist, damp, clammy, and wet, especially in a small environment like this. 
So keep that in mind, you know, if you have those heaters, you've probably observed this. The water collects in cold places and runs down the walls and I put up with it. I, I used it. It worked great for me until I got this. I'm not disparaging Mr. Heater and the rest of them. Uh, it's just one of the prices of doing business with a catalytic propane burner that's used indoors. I'll be in here sleeping tonight. I'll put out about a pint of water. If there's two of us in here, that's 32 ounces. That's a quart of water that would be put out. Add into that, you know, many ounces of water from the heater. And you may have a couple of quarts of water floating around in here in the, uh, in the trailer. So um, I have talked to people who own teardrop trailers who have had problems with condensation and moisture to the point where they got mold under their mattresses. I, I have no mold under my mattress, I assure you. Uh, but, you know, it happens. This just happens. It's not good or bad. It's just, you know, this is the price of go doing business out in the wilderness, you know. I'm sure, you know, there's many people out here who have a lot more experience, but uh, two cheap electric heaters I will take electric heaters if you're driving and pulling over and want to get in your trailer in a reasonable amount of time 1500 watts 1000 watts uh, is a good place to start nothing beats experimenting like this it's warm in here when you get in uh, no matter how cold it is outside so leave yourself some time if you're in a trailer like this I have a lot of window space so I close curtains I seal it up I, I close off the the, the, uh, the, the, the hatchway that goes to the kitchen, I close that off and uh, limit the space here, right? Um, electric heaters have somewhat of an advantage in my opinion. If I had a Mr. Heater, Mr. Buddy in here, they consume oxygen and I'd have to have this open, the top uh, vent, I'd have to have that open. And unfortunately, my experience is that carries out a lot of heat. So, you know, you're up here, you put your hand up here, you feel all this heat. Uh, but down here, it's much colder, and that's primarily, in my opinion, because the heat is rising out of the trailer and going out. Now, this trailer has low-down vents to let in air. I can show you those later. Uh, so you can get a nice, you know, low to high airflow, which is good for air exchange, but it's not good for conserving heat. So the electric heater offers an advantage, and so does this built-in one, that I can close this, uh, I can close my roof vent, and it gets, uh, the, the hot air does continue to rise, but I've got a bubble here now, and it fills up and it gets all the way down to the floor. The whole trailer gets a pretty, pretty warm. Uh, there's a big difference between when I ran, in my experience, between when I ran Mr. Heater and Mr. Buddy, my little buddy heater, and having a built-in one and um, electric ones that don't require venting to the outside at the high point. So that's my two cents. You know, you, I'm sure other people have probably worked out these problems. You can turn this fan on, it will blow the heat down. I can do that with this. This is a uh, Max fan, I think it's called. Uh, it's a pretty good roof vent. You can run it uh, when it's raining, it won't let rain in. And when it's not raining, I can just turn this on. Where is that button here? I can turn this on, and even with the roof vent closed, it will circulate air down or up, whichever I choose. Uh, not too effective, but it sure works. I mean, it's, you know, it's not like a big breeze blowing in from outside, but it's an option. It's an option I have. So look at your options. You could put a little, you know, right? I'm complaining about air building up up top. You could put a small fan in. You could do a lot of other things, but they all cost energy, etc. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.